on candid camera. <laughs> we are on the camera. <laughs> hey guys, it's Nikki and Lauren with Junk Teaks. We are so excited to do a haul video for you today. Um, uh, personally, looking a little plain because I had a migraine this morning, but Jesus, she prayed for me and Jesus is helping me. So thank you, Lord. Uh, anytime we have uh, biometric pressure or changes in the air, it really does a thing with me. Um, and it is rainy here on this Monday here in Montgomery. But anyway, we want to show you some things uh, we have gotten at different places. We went to a couple of state sales, uh, a couple of thrift stores. I think that's what we have for today. Mm -hmm. um, and just tell you what's going on. This is a really crazy week. So, um, Good Look. things coming to the store next month. Yes. Good things online. And if you're local yes. and you see something you want, let us know. We'll work out a time to meet you at the store to pick it up um, between now and our store opening again next month in, in um, March. So, quick little story with this one. I have to tell it. We went to an estate sale, and it was in the condo complex where my mother-in-law lived before she passed away, where Nikki's mother-in-law lives now, and it was a really cool story. They were going to live side by side, mm -hmm. except that my mother-in-law passed away before um, they got finished moving in and everything, and so that didn't actually get to happen. So we go down there, and um, we pull around to the condo, and it's literally like the same condo, but on the other side of the property. And when we walked up into it, literally the lady is 97 years old, and she has um, the the um, cabinets and different things in her garage where she's storing stuff. And the mothball smell. The mothball smell, y'all. Uh-uh. <laughs> is how nostalgic is mothballs? I mean, like, really. <sighs> anyway, we walk in, and it's like I'm walking into my mother-in-law's garage again. And she died in 2015, so it's been a while. And I literally had to turn around and walk back out and go, y'all gonna have to give me a minute. Mm -hmm. But, y'all, we walked in this lady's house. This lady is... Um, 97. 97. She's still alive. She didn't die. She was not having the sale because she died. She was having the sale because her sister-in-law was making her go to assisted living. So it was like stepping back in time when you walked into that yes. place, y'all. It was She beautiful. had so much different things, furniture, trinkets, stuff that was from so many different eras of her life. Like mm -hmm. you could find one piece that might have been... 1950s one piece that might have been 1970s and then another piece that might be 19 you know 40s or whatever mm -hmm. so it's just mm -hmm. crazy so anyway um it was very nostalgic for me and i got some things out of there that i took home with me that you're not gonna see in the store yep. um but anyway it was it was cool the first thing we want to talk about today is this hand mirror look at this silver it looks like it's dirty right now we got to clean it yeah, we got to clean that but it's double-sided hand mirror that it's she had in heavy, her bathroom. It's heavy. It's very heavy. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see the handle really good. There's actually like little roses on there. Mm -hmm. So this very will pretty. be available. And that is, um, you know, I I know some people that like to collect uh, vanity sets. You know, the brushes, the mirrors, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So another thing that's very collectible um our viewers may be aware of these. These are called fairy lights. Um, this is a very, very old cut glass. Um, it's an amber glass. Absolutely stunning. Um, the lighting here doesn't do much for it, but we wanted to show you what it looks like when you light up. We put a little uh, votive in it. And at night, y'all, these are gorgeous. Let me just get this going here. I'm hoping it will show a little bit. So um, there's different kinds of fairy lights, but this is one of the more popular ones um so i guess you can't see it because of the daylight but the because of the way all the cutting is at night it just reflects and it's stunning but we know a lot of people like to collect these as well and so when she had one i was like yes can i get that so we will have this in our store but i'm gonna blow the fire out so here's what it looks like and they have these in antique stores, different sizes, different colors, different glasses. Um, but they're really fun. They're called fairy lights. All right, you talk about talk about that one. Then this I'll talk about is one. just a cute little brass bell. Um, the smoke, <laughs> the smoke from the. Um, and we're gonna have this in the store soon. It's just um, super cute rings and 
um, who doesn't need a little bell. cute little brass dinner bell? There you but go. We got that from her house. There's no telling how long this one has <clears throat> had that brass bell. So this piece you may have seen before. These were really big mid-century, maybe even before that. So the feet are those little like lion's feet and it's solid brass, you guys. And they would have put their uh, firewood kindling or a few logs for their fire. This would sit by the fireplace. Um, but even for now, you could stack like a whole cute stack of magazines or do it as like a floral planter type thing um, or use it for your firewood, just like it was original. But um, it is solid brass. It's a beautiful piece. We got that from her. I saw this. It was up on top of her refrigerator and it is an old enamel piece and we looked it up and it's a 1960s piece. You can see where she's used it. Um, and it's the it's the paints peeling off of the porcelain and you can see um, That it was so made cool. in Thailand and so this picture is so pretty y'all and she only had two plates But we've got two Enamel plates to go with it one yellow and one orange like the picture and so when it we was, researched yeah. these It was just like oh my god and we were so actually cool. about to leave, like, mm -hmm. and go outside and, and make sure we had everything organized. And I saw this picture up on her refrigerator, and I was like, are you selling that enamelware? And she, she had her little walker, and she was like, oh, my husband got me that when we first got married. And I said, so does that mean you're not selling it? I totally understand. She said, no, no, you can have it. You can, you can buy it. And so anyway, it was just sweet that there, it, this comes with a story. So yeah. I just love that. The little lady outlived one of her husbands and then got married again and had a second husband. So I'm thinking she's thinking about the second husband because Probably. these are 1960s yeah. enamels. Probably. And we're selling the plates and the picture together yeah. as a set. Yeah. So this piece, I kind of like hyperventilated when I saw it. Um, it was just stuck in a box. <laughs> stuck in a box. It was going to go, go. She was giving it away at some point. Taking it to um, Goodwill. I bought it for, from her. But um, so this is a little lamp. Um, it is hand painted. Let me take the glass off for you. But it's hand painted, which they did this way back in the day. And it's that real thin glass. Um, it actually is um, a beautiful, beautiful base, mm -hmm. and it does work. We, we tested it. it. Yeah, you can tell how old it is by what the plug looks like. Look yeah. at that, y'all. Yeah, it's. I told Lauren, I was like, should I plug this in to see if it works? She goes, oh yeah, it's fine. So um, I mean, all the wiring's fine. But anyway, we just fell in love with this when it's we saw in it. Perfect condition. Yeah, it would be really sweet um, just on a nightstand. You mm -hmm. know, it's a very small light, um, so it would be soft lighting. You know, It'd be a cute um, bathroom light too if you like a little lamp in your bathroom. Yeah, and then this was also from her. We're showing you all the things we got from her first. So this is like an oil lamp, and it is in perfect condition. Not a chip or scratch. Even the glass is perfect. Um, and it's one that you would, you know, you turn it and the, the wick goes up and then you light the wick, but the wick is soaked in the, it's all the way down and soaked yeah. in the oil in the bottom. Of and you it, can so. find these like at Walmart and stuff, but this is a really, really old one. So we just like things that are you know, vintage. And then like last time we found another one of these at her house yeah. and we love this one. It has the darker wood. So we will have this up in the store because we know that a lot of people like those. We had one of those go this past weekend and then this is a painted metal tissue box but you could use it as a planter for um, some small flowers or you can use it as a tissue box I mean tissue box sizes I mean it's it's um a smaller so like the big jumbo size thick tissue boxes wouldn't fit in it but a regular size tissue box would yeah the camera's making it look huge so like it's really proportional not. yeah so it's not that big but look at the, the uh, cutting here. It's just so pretty. That's gorgeous. It's so pretty. We love the little feet on it, too. Mm -hmm. But, That's yeah, sweet. I just love it is screaming vintage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't know the year on that one, but um, anyway. So let's start with some of our other things that are over here on this other side. Now, these things we got at uh, different places, a um, couple thrift stores and um, actually a couple estate sales. Well, that was more sales. like a yard sale, yeah. estate sale, but yeah. So, um, I picked this up the other day. I had an uncle that had one of these. And we try to keep a few things in the store that we think men might would like. 
and I think that's what this is. This is where a man would drop his pocket change on his dresser or um, right when you come through the door if you have a space like a mud room or something where everybody drops everything. And it's brass. And um, Ooh, as I picked it up, things. somebody came behind me and went, are you getting that? And I was like, I think so. Aunt. She's like, because if you put it down, I want it. And I was like, <laughs> okay, so now I'm really getting it because yeah. you can have it. And we cleaned it. All those are oh, age, yeah. age spots. Age spots, yeah. You know, makes it more special. Here's another man thing that we got at an estate sale. And it's just the tray. But look at the patina on this tray that goes into an old toolbox. We love it's this It's kind of got a, a reddish tint to it. I think you can see that in the camera. But if you like rusty. But it mm. is rusty and crusty on the inside. It's so fabulous. And it's so old. So just yeah. a, just another thing that you might could decorate a man's office with or put some little flowers in it and it would be old and rusty and crusty and oh, love just it. cool. So here is some pottery. You know if we find pottery we want, we want to pick it up. At first I was like I don't know about the spots but the more I looked at it I just loved it. It is signed on the bottom. Um, so this was a piece that someone actually made, um, and I just love it. It's real heavy. It's got kind of a creamy tan color with these brown spots, um, but it's a real pretty bowl. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I'd use it for a planter myself. So we had one of these before, but it was um, didn't have feet on it. It was just flat, and it didn't have this piece. And what it is is it's a wrought iron um, soap dish. And we love this piece. And I, we, the other one sold at our very first opening. And so yeah. we were like, okay, we haven't had another one since. So we'll get this one and just see how it goes. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous, even with the rust and all in it. Yeah. It just, it just is so, it's so, it has to be so old. Yeah. So. It'd be pretty set, set on your bathroom vanity, mm -hmm. even with just like some soaps that you aren't yeah. washing your hands with, but and like decorative soaps. The cool part about this one is it has rubber tips on the feet. So you're not going to get the rust from the wrought iron on your countertops. Yeah. Because I know my friend Robin just had a little issue with that rust from a, a metal tray oh, getting no. on her brand new countertop. So she got it off, but <laughs> we got to be careful about We are really, really excited about this. So we oh gosh, found these, this canister set, y'all. Let's pull it back so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm not... Like, in my decorating, I don't have a lot of yellow, but I know a lot of people love yellow, so we, we fell in love with this. So, it is old. Um, it is made in Italy, um, and, and you can see that on the bottom. I don't know if you can show them that. Condition. Yeah. And it's got the aging here. Um, it, I guess it's like a clay terracotta type feel. But we love, so I married an Italian, so every time I think we see something from Italy, we're like, <gasps> but anyway, <laughs> but we love it. It's got the Italian words on it, and um, it, it's in perfect condition. And y'all, this one is so tiny. Like, I've never seen a canister. I have never tiny. seen a canister. I don't really know what you put in there. I don't either. And I don't know what that word is. Um, <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I need to go get CJ in here. Maybe he could read it for us. But yeah. anyway, um, we just love this. Like, it was just... It's beautiful. And it's it like painted on there. Per, I mean, almost perfect. Not a chip on any of it. Not a chip any of it. Mm -hmm. so. so anyway, we're, we're gonna, gonna have that available. <laughs> so exciting! Okay. Yes, several more things to show. So, this is fun. Nikki's daughter Haley loves tea, and every time we see a teapot, Haley's like, "I mean, Nikki's like, I gotta get that for Haley." And then <laughs> she brings it home, and then this one, she decided, okay. We have enough teapots in our house. We're going to put this one in the store. So this is a silver teapot. It's tiny, y'all. It's not it's like... It's so little. It would be like a one-person teapot. One-person teapot. But, but it is it's so, so pretty. It's so and pretty. And there's not anything wrong with I it. Love it the just curve. needs to be a little polished. And it reminds me of the little song, I'm a Little Teapot. Yeah. Short and stout. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> All right, let's do that. And this and is the miscellaneous one. This, this is a bud vase. Um, it's a light yellow, which we thought would be really pretty for spring. Mm -hmm. And I would, if it was in my house, um, I would just do like greenery coming out of it. But florals would be beautiful as well. But anyway, so we just grabbed that just because it's just a real pretty simple vase. And then we got this jar. It's the one, the kind that does the latching. Nikki has these in her her kitchen and they're numbered one two three this one is num is just labeled miscellaneous and we loved that yeah so she keeps some um, chips um, almonds 
crackers, different things like that dumped over in hers in her kitchen, and I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I love the miscellaneous option. You could just throw anything you want in there. Some trail mix or, you know, whatever, and you get getting hungry during the day and you want a little snack, reach your hand in there, but it doesn't even have to go in the kitchen. It could go anywhere, um, whatever yeah. you want to store Your pantry. It. Yeah, it's just kind of awesome. cool. Right. If you'll grab those two little things right there, I'll do one and you can do one. So this one we haven't even tagged yet. So this is crystal. Um, I guess it's just a little vase. It looks mm -hmm. like a candy dish almost, but y'all, look at the curve on that. Mm -hmm. There's not one chip on it. I felt the whole thing, and I just thought that is so feminine. I love it so much. And the light reflecting on it, oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. And then another thing we got, I'll do this while you're working on that. Um, oh, I've never seen anything so like this, this is, before. Uh, we actually went to a yard sale that was specifically for mission missionaries. So we got quite a bit of that one. That's where some of this came from. But this was there. It's not vintage, but we just thought it was so cool. So you could literally hang it, um, and it's a double-sided clock which is really, really cool. And then you can open it up here and then the batteries go in there. Yeah. So we just thought it was really, really fun. It's kind of like a, a galvanized look. Mm -hmm. So it would be really cute in a farmhouse style. So if you know me, I love a crock. <laughs> and I love a crock that has USA on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I am, Nikki says, if there's one to be found, I'm the one who's gonna find it. Yep. This one does not say USA on the bottom, but what's really cool about this one is it has a Canadian leaf on the bottom. So I think this crock must be from Canada. And it's cute. If you're a good old fashioned Southern woman, you could pour your bacon grease in it and keep it in your kitchen. Oh, that's great. That's a good idea actually. <laughs> and put a lid on it. Um, but. Just, I love it. I love it. I would love it at my house just to decorate. It'd with. be really cute in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah, and we for have sure. a black and tan um, kitchen, so it would be really cute in my kitchen. But you could put it anywhere. Yeah. So I think we just have the big platter, and, and then I want to show them those lamps that are a work that, in progress, um, too. Oh, yeah, that, too. All right, so I'll let Lauren hold this up. So we found this. It is a gorgeous platter. Obviously, it's very, very large. Um, and it's got, um, if you could, like, hold it up to the camera a little bit closer so they can see the... It's kind of like a dark, I guess it's berry, a berry leaf or of some kind, cherry or something. But we just thought it was beautiful. It's more of a cream platter, um, but very, very large. No chips. Beautiful. You can use it all year long. Actually, um, when I was buying it, um, I think I got that at a thrift store somewhere. And um, the lady was like, same thing. She's like, if you're not going to get that, like, I really want it. And I was like, I'm sorry. I'm getting it, you know. We're going to have to take y'all with us to the thrift store one time. The other day, I was not paying attention. The guy rolled out a new a bin with more stuff in it. And I could hear Nikki from the other side, Lauren, get over here. Like, <laughs> we got to get in this bin before everybody else does. You got, you got, we need more hands. And she was on her phone and like, there was like all these vultures of people coming. And I'm like, I need extra hands here. But we still got some good stuff. Um, one of which was this piece. Um, we are both Christians. We love the Lord and we love things that um, glorify the Lord. And this is scripture and it's a really, really good one. I'm not going to read it right now. But it's a beautiful piece. Big, heavy wood boards. Uh, very rustic and distressed. It's Zephaniah 3, 17. I'll show you how big it is, like, in comparison to me. So it's a really heavy, solid piece. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And then I wanted to show you one more thing. Um, We're almost this, done. This is a work in progress. We got some lamps. And then we've been looking for lampshades. We talked about the black ones before. Yes, and the lampshades were crusty and yucky and gooey, and Nikki has cleaned, um, cleaned them <laughs> and started painting them, and they're a work in progress. Yes, so we have to still get the uh, finials for the top, um, but we have the lampshades for them. So I don't know if y'all remember, these were like black, and they had like a gold thing around it. So I've done one layer of paint. We're going to do a second layer. I'm not sure about the black rim. I left it black. I'm... I'm not sure. I might leave it black. I might put some ribbon on it. I don't know. But these are a work in progress. But we wanted you to know that we do have the two lamps. If you're so. interested in the lamps without the lamp shades, yeah. let us know. And um, They're beautiful. It's um, kind of like a light gray with a whitewash look. Mm -hmm. Very, very pretty. Closer. Can you see that now? 
Can you see them now? <laughs> They're really, really pretty. If you're interested in any of this or anything that you saw in the store with our post from last weekend, um, just send us a message or comment in the um, below. And if you want to try to pick up some of this or get some of this before it hits the store, just let us know and we'll try to work that out with you. Yeah. If you're local especially, um, we'll be up there not this week working, but next week we'll be up there working some. And so we could, you know, have it in the car and meet you there or whatever. So. Yeah, we're going to be headed out to um, Mississippi for those who didn't come to this come up to see us this weekend we've told every customer that we're going to be in mississippi later this week um doing a huge four or five day junking trip um so we're really excited about that we'll be documenting with some mm -hmm. videos for you guys yep. so you can kind of keep up with us and see what we're looking looking at and buying and um and all of that that we purchased this weekend will be in the store for our next two-day event which will yeah. be in march the third weekend in march and we'll post that as well Yep. Um, but I think that's it. There was one other thing. I was gonna... Oh, so my my garage is that what you were talking about? My garage is a hot mess right now. Like the ceilings falling in, like just the drywall, the garage doors rotted. But that's going to become like our workshop. <laughs> <laughs> so we are when we have a few hours here, a few hours there, we're going in and we're cleaning it out and organizing and. Um, we're going to kind of document that as well so you can start seeing before and afters. So maybe later in the week we'll go in and show you how ugly it really is so that when it's completed, Lord willing, sooner than later, um, you'll you'll see the before and afters because we, we like watching videos like that. It's just fun. So just good ideas. But we are going to get a new garage door at some point soon. And we're hoping to take the ceiling down and let the rafters show so it'll feel like a barn in there. And then um, paint the walls a lighter color because they're like a really dark, fake wood paneling type thing. It's really gross. But anyway, so that's, that's another thing that's coming ahead. Was that it? I was just going to say thank y'all, all of you so much. That yes. The ones that showed up this past weekend so and fun. shopped. And, and um, we loved hearing that you're following us on Facebook and that you want to see more videos. And so we're trying to um, do more videos and that kind of thing. And on our trip, if there's anything specific that you're looking for that you didn't find in our shop, put that in the comments as well. We've got a list of things that we're looking for that are specific to certain buyers. You know, I've got a couple of people that are looking for really large round trays, so we're going to be looking for that. A couple of people and, want stained um, glass windows. There was another yeah, lady that came couple out on stained Saturday. glass windows. So that's what we're going to be doing too, is not just looking for the things that we want to take into our shop, but the things that y'all are looking for as well. Absolutely. So we are your personal shoppers. There you go. All right. We love you guys. Y'all have a good day.